Hey Yucky Gang, Yucky Tori Guy here. If you've been watching my channel for a while, breaking down lots of chickens and making lots of skewers, and feel like you've started to master making yakitori at home using your indoor grill, you may start feeling curious about making yakitori on a charcoal grill using binchotan. If you take the same chicken and the same cooking knowledge and cook it on electric, gas, or charcoal, by far the yakitori that's cooked on charcoal, that's gonna be the best tasting. However, that's only true if you've mastered the basic fundamentals of making yakitori, such as cutting the chicken, skewering and grilling, understanding how the chicken grills, which you can learn very quickly on an electric grill. Take those same skills and then apply it to the charcoal grill and then you can make really good yakitori even on your first time around. Because when you have those basic fundamentals and then you switch over to charcoal, you're definitely going to see this upgrade in the flavor of your yakitori. I've definitely seen beginners get very expensive equipment and very expensive charcoal their first time around making yakitori only to end up with burnt, black, bitter yakitori and get frustrated at the process and sort of lose that momentum of wanting to learn yakitori. And if you ask any of my masters why they can continue to make yakitori every day for decades long and get better and better, it's because they always say they're having fun with the process. So anything where we can take away any of that frustrations, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So if you don't want to get frustrated in the process, I definitely recommend maybe just starting out with the electric and then working your way up and just developing your skills as you grow. So far, all my tutorials have been demonstrated using my LiveArt electric grill, which is ideal for indoor use and what I always recommend for anyone who wants to start learning yakitori. However, moving forward, you can expect me to talk more about equipment and the techniques that are useful for other grills. So today, I wanted to review the Tan Charcoal, which is an affordable charcoal option available nationwide through Amazon and on their website, which I want to use with the Yak Grill's Hibachi Grill that I have right here. So for those who want to make yakitori using charcoal, I definitely wanted to introduce you guys to ogata, which is made from compressed sawdust, which works similar to binchotan, which is made from solid wood, but at a fraction of the cost. Tan charcoal is an ogatan style charcoal made by Pak Pak, which is famous in the Portland area for their Thai food bites, especially the fried chicken. Their charcoal is made by taking rabitan tree particles and compressing them with the edible starch. So this is a small five pound box, which I ordered on Amazon for $15. And with Prime, it came in about two days. On the Pak Pak website, you can also get a 22 pound box for $21, which is a very affordable option compared to real bean jotan, which can start Start around, let's say, $80 for the same size box for bean jotan like this, which is a cheaper one. And it can go all the way to even $200, $300 a box more for the best of the best bean jotan, which is the Kishu bean jotan from Wakayama. So let's see how these are. So inside the box, let's see, we have, looks like packed two rows of one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a gap here, so maybe this one's missing one. I just got this, but yeah. Six on top, seven on the bottom. It's probably gonna be supposed to be seven to seven. Ogatan that I normally have, which are more just complete squares, but with rounded edges. So roughly a square shape. They have these holes in the middle. I believe they're part of the manufacturing process. When they compress it, it's for gas to escape, so they don't crack or explode. Seems like these ones are a little bit more brittle than these ogatan. Similar weight though, sound it makes. A little different from binchotan, which makes this sort of higher pitch noise. Can't really notice distinct smell difference yet. Maybe if I cook these up. So today I wanted to test out these tan charcoal on this hibachi grill made by Yak Grills, which was actually specifically made. The internal dimensions right here were made specifically to fit these tan charcoals. So this grill was successfully crowdfunded on Indiegogo over this past summer. It's supposed to be releasing this holiday season. And I've been using this pre-production unit basically to test it out and give it some feedback on how well it works with Yakitori. It's only 16 inches by seven and a half and six and a half inches tall. So it's really compact, making it really easy for me to take it to my friends' houses, their backyards and cook up some Yakitori on it. It's stainless steel construction, roughly three, I guess four pieces. So we got basically this outer shell, inner cage right here, and another place to basically clean out the charcoal. But because it's stainless steel, basically you can see the inside is sort of gunky. 
basically burnt from all the charcoal I have. The outside, I just wipe it with a sponge and steel wool and it, it stays basically shiny. So it comes with this grill top. You can put your meats, fish, veggies, anything non-skewered or I guess skewered items as well. But when you take this off, you can see there's these cuts right here. This is where you can put skewers. You have long skewers, basically gonna just fit across. So this is a 10 inch one, let's see an eight inch. Eight inch is a little short. So any of these longer shish kebab ones, you can skew across. For yakitori, I definitely recommend going with these metal rods. These are stainless steel rods where you can balance your skewers right here on top. So these are prototype rods that I've asked Yak Grills to make for me, but I believe these will be available for purchase as accessory items later on. Definitely be on a lookout for these. So this is what it looks with the tan charcoal packed in there. So we were able to fit eight in there. So, all right, let's take this outside and make some yakitori. All right, so this has been heating up for the past at least 15 minutes. The bottom layer is starting to glow orange, top layer not so much. So I estimate maybe about another 10 to 15 minutes before I can put this into the grill. Definitely charcoal, whether it's this or binchotan or ogatan, they take a while. So you have to factor that in before you can start grilling. In terms of the smell, I'm noticing a little bit of a, a, a sweeter smell compared to the binchotan or ogatan. So we'll see how that's gonna affect the cooking. But maybe 10, 15 more minutes. Then about 30, 35 minutes, heat it through. So let's get this in the grill. Kind of get this charcoal basically cooked through by fanning it, matting oxygen, and that's raising the temperature. I want to get all these black parts still heated up. It's also here, oxygen that can flow through these holes. Top is more effective because it gets very ashy. It's heated up or when you're first sitting at the charcoal. It's actually, I recommend, and my master in Japan, he wears a mask too, a respirator. So you want to inhale this stuff. Sometimes if it's like binchotan, I might actually wear eye protection too because when it heated up really fast, the binchotan, it could actually explode so you have to be careful for that Just trying to get this heated up get it to the consistent heat that i want for reference i had this in the chimney basically 45 minutes ago basically taking me about 45 50 minutes to get to the even temperature that i want so that i can cook really even yakitori so when stacking charcoal normally i like to have multiple layers and that really helps with the oxygen control and just much more even heat distribution so in the case of the tando i can't stack up two or else it gets really too close to the meat i can only do one layer but if i have any smaller pieces of charcoal so this is ninchotan right here that's enough height or leftover ogatan that would be a good enough height so i can't stack two new tan charcoals but i can stack new tan charcoal and basically a used old charcoal from before go ahead and see how it is it's just the one layer of tan so this grill top right here basically allows you to cook non-skewered items so in this case is fish and right here we got some potatoes grilling up so it looks to be about a one inch and a half maybe gap between the charcoal and the food pretty ashy i would say so make sure to do this outside not indoors all right so now i want to cook yakitori so i'm taking off the grill top and i'm going to use these rods so with the rods i want it at the distance about the size of the skewer right here basically about the length of the, the meat right here So you have to fan, get the heat high, but also just to fan off all this ash because the ash creates a barrier from all that heat. The faster I fan it, the hotter it's gonna get. That it's a flare up. It's caused by the oil drippings. You wanna avoid that. It's black smoke. Really want to avoid that. So when cooking something fatty like the skin, it's going to be a lot of oil drippings at the bottom. And you want layers of charcoal to really absorb that, kind of like a filter. If it hits like the hot middle, it might flare up. If there's a lot of gaps, it might flare up. So I've been sort of dealing with a little bit of flare ups right now, but it's still somewhat okay. Got to keep on fanning it. And 
வருது ஸோ யூஸ்வலி வித் எனி திங் ஓய்லி வெரி ஃபேட்டி லைக் த ஸ்கின் ரை ஹியர் யூ ஆன் அவாய்ட் ஃப்ளேர் அப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸோ ஃபார் த த ஹீட் ஹேஸ் பின் ப்ரீ கண்ட்ரோல்ட் ஸோ ஐ ரியலி ஹேட் டூ மச் இஷ்யூஸ் வித் த ஃப்ளேர் அப் ஐ ஹேட் சம் க்ளோஸ் கால்ஸ் வேர் ஹேட் டு மூவ் இட் ஆஃப் பட் ஐ நோ இட்ஸ் டூ ஓகே த ஸ்மோக் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி பீன் ஜோ தாங் டைப் ஆஃப் ஸ்மோக் பட் இட்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் அனஃப் யூ கெட்டிங் ரியலி மோஸ் ஆஃப் த ஸ்மோக் ஃப்ளேவர் ஃப்ரம் த சிக் அண்ட் ஃபேட்ஸ் ட்ரிப்பிங் ஹீயிங் அப் Yeah, definitely has that smokiness to the chicken that you want with yakitori. So once after about maybe 2 hours the charcoal heating up, the tan charcoal is definitely gotten smaller. So I can now stack two one on top of each other. It's actually a really good height for me for yakitori. So I have about an inch clearance even when there's two stacked. And this is the perfect height for yakitori. I want to snip off any of these black parts. I have some tan charcoal right here. It's been going about two hours. Put in this ogata about maybe an hour ago. There's a little bit of bincho tan in here too. So if you see how, with how it lights up with more oxygen, definitely you're going to notice a little bit of ash on the ogata. Deeper ash on the tan charcoal. Not much on the bincho tan right here. This is how the inside looks. tan bin jo tan over here and oga tan over here All right, so we are done grilling outside using the tan charcoal on the yak grills. So you can see there is the uh, the marks from the tare drippings, but this should come off basically with a soapy sponge or steel wool in the sink based on previous trials. So very easy to clean. So with the tan charcoal, it gets a little bit ashy. There's a lot of ash on this box that I left outside next to the grill. Some ash here. Definitely a little bit more ash than the bincho tan. But overall, I say it's a really good entry to learn and get used to cooking yak to do a charcoal. Compared to the briquettes or the lump charcoal that's commonly used in the American western style barbecue, these ogatan style charcoals like this tan or ogatan right here is very similar to the bincho tan in the sense of low smoke, low odor, it's a very consistent heat and temperature throughout its burn. I would say that I slightly prefer these ogatan right here, basically the ones that are mainly used in the Japanese restaurants around, just in the terms of maybe a little bit of the smell and how it heats up in slightly less ash than the tan. However, these ones are harder to get. I get these from the local restaurant distributors and considering the ease of accessibility, affordability of the tan charcoal, I would say this is definitely a good place to start. I do have to mention if you're considering starting out with charcoal or getting a charcoal grill, ogatan and bincho tan is often marketed as low odor, low smoke. That's only if it's just burning on its own. As soon as you cook anything on it, especially yakitori with fat drippings and those fat drippings hit the hot surface of the charcoal, it's going to create a lot of smoke. So, way too smoky for indoors and even outdoors it gets pretty smoky. Seems like a pretty no-brainer point, but I do have to mention that in case you live in a place that you don't have an outside balcony or backyard. So far, all my yakitori tutorials on this channel have been demonstrated using my Livart electric grill, which is super perfect for indoor use. I can use it every day, anytime. It's really suitable for me to be able to film anywhere anytime. But moving forward, I'll try to mix up the grills whether it's this Livart grill or the gas Iwatani grill that some of you guys have been asking me about or some of my various charcoal grills that I have. I hope to mix it up so that I can show you a variety of tips and techniques that might be a little bit different from grill to grill. My goal with this channel is to always provide you guys with that knowledge so you guys can make really good yakitori at home regardless of the grill you use. All right, so today's review was on the tan charcoal by Pak Pak. Look for them on Amazon or on their website for the price and availability. I think this is a good entry for anyone who wants to get into cooking yakitori with charcoal. And today I used the hibachi grill by Yak Grills. It is not released yet at the time of me recording this video, but make sure to give them a follow. Be on a lookout for them. Once the production models out, I hope to do a deeper dive into that model.
All right, that's it for today's review. If you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.